I love to go to the basket. I love to get inside, and but you have to finish it with authority. Yeah, I want to go up there and try to tear it down. Like my man here. They used to call you Baby Jordan, but now they got to call you Mr. Harold Miner. When I get out there, I just like to have fun. I just like to release a lot of energy, so I like to tear it down. Down along the right face, inside and across. Baby Miner spins and shoots. Does that guy have a cape or what? It's a matter of continuing to work and, and just getting that opportunity. That was a cloud. Ed T. Rush with the call. Ed T. Rush, David Jones, Ron Garretson are the officials. And now Concac and Manning get in. Enos Watley sits out. And also Mookie Blaylock comes in. So Harold Miner at the guard. Steve Smith moved up front with Glenn Rice. So now Miami with a small team on the floor. Oh, man. So Miner quick. doesn't play small. No, he's so quick and so strong. Not this time. Rice rebound. Atlanta by 12. Steve Smith open for three. Got to get to him in transition. See, this is what... what Harold Miner, not bashful. See, look where Stacey Ogden is always playing back in the post because Miner doesn't have three-point range. That shot's a little bit out of his range, but he buries that one. He had to step in for it. it was Keep your eye on Glenn Rice in his possession. I think he's going to try to come off the screen and get a jumper at the top of the circle. Off the screen, didn't get the jumper. Lang stepped out. He'll take it anyway. Good call, Doug. Look at Harold Miner, former slam dunk champion. The ex and when Glenn Rice goes up with his jump shot, no one gets a body on him. And that's how you see these spectacular plays made in the NBA. You've got to put a body on these guys. They're such great leapers. Rice is going to give you the pump fake. Andrew Lang leaves his feet. And you're going to see Miner come into the picture with a spectacular play. So a lot of that at Southern Cal. Lang and Sally of the Hawks, 51 points. Under two minutes, first half. going to have to stop the man who's defending minor under a minute willis bad pass right out to steve smith to harold minor look out and the foul harold minor's really giving this team an, an emotional jump off the bench He's giving him great offense and that quickness to the bat see willis was pushed out of bounds there just enough to have to cough the ball up and he goes to Harold Miner. We've seen some sensational plays by him. He's five for seven. Always a loophole. Elo misses. Pharrell rebound. And the foul. Pharrell will go to the line. Look at this. Uh oh I'm telling you, it's going to get ugly, guys. Elo is on the floor. And Manning is off the bench. We have it going on right in front of our bench. There is a melee in the middle of the floor. The most significant thing thus far is Danny Manning came off the bench. Look at Kevin Lockett. Boil, boil, boil. Oh, man, somebody come in from behind and pop somebody. This is ugly, guys. Doug Edwards, the Atlanta Hawks rookie, came off the bench. Alvin Gentry has Grant Long right in front of our table here trying to hold him back. And it is still not over here in Atlanta after this miss by Elo. Now watch Long takes a hard foul against him right here. He's going to come over, and he's going to take a hard foul right there. All right, now watch Pharrell come down and put his finger in his face. And then he, put, then he tries to choke him, and that's where they start going right there. That's Keith Askins right there. Boom, he hits Doug Edwards in the back of the head. Now Edwards is going to hit him. Look at it. Oh, he squared him off. I'll tell you, those are two bigger punches than we saw in the Holyfield Moore fight the other night. Thing got crazy with 2.34 to go in the third quarter. Pharrell rebound. He's fouled hard by Long. Taunts him. Long tries to choke him. The fight breaks out. All 12 players from both squads get onto the floor. This fight resulted in three ejections. Askins and Long for Miami and rookie Doug Edwards for the Atlanta Hawks. This was really scary. Now watch up in the upper right of your screen. You'll see Keith Askins come off the bench and there hit Doug Edwards in the back and Edwards with a cross to the right side. And the other punches thrown, you saw two of them. 
Edwards and Askins were ejected, as was Grant Long. After that, Atlanta has gone on a scoring bench, and you see Alvin Gentry, the assistant coach for the Miami Heat, who had to leave the floor. He injured his right wrist when you saw him thrown down. That was, that was a flagrant. Yes, it was. He hit him right upside the face. Brought down to nine, Elo from long range. Not this time, rebound, Harold Miner. 3.40 to go in the game. Miami has been held scoreless in five minutes. Adam T played 15 minutes the other night. Former slam dunk champion. And on the season, when they score 100 plus points, they're 42 and three. Lang had it stripped from him. Watley fell down trying to catch Harold Miner. He's got a floor burn. I think he's all right, but that sure does sting. You My pick is Harold Miner. Who's your pick, Larry? Harold Miner! Miner would not rely on a blindfold, but rather on his explosive leaping ability and thorough knowledge of dunk history. You know, growing up, I mean, I really enjoyed, you know, getting up and, you know, exciting the crowds, you know, with, you know, with my slam dunking. I kind of imitated everything that they did, from Michael to Doc, Connie Hawkins, Dominique, you know, all these guys, you know, these are my heroes. I just went in there trying to focus on, on, on what I had to do, doing what came naturally and uh, getting up, you know, just getting loose and kind of feeding off the, uh, the adrenaline in the, in the crowd. And new slam dunk king, Miner is Miner. The effect after you do it, that's everything, you know, in terms of getting the, the crowd into it. Miner. Oh, my. 